Randy Doss claims to live in a haunted house and offers this video evidence for proof. I dare you to slam that door. <laughs> They start recording this video after the door opens all by itself, at which point they try to get the spirit to do something else. And with that said, the ghost seemingly takes up the challenge. Watch the crack in the door and you'll see there's absolutely nobody on the other side. No. Just for the record, it's only Nick and I here. Just when the door almost slams shut, this happens. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Whoa. The obvious answer is that there is a child standing on the other side of the door, but look again. There appears to be nothing more than an empty sleeve, and more importantly, it doesn't make contact with the door at all. This makes me think that whatever forced the door open could have also wrestled the nearby jacket too. If this video doesn't get your heart racing, it certainly did for this guy. His name is Daniel Stanley, and he gets so pumped up that he can make his heart do this. Watch this and tell me if you know what medical condition this is called. I couldn't find much information on this person, aside from the name and his reputation for being able to make his heart race so hard, it nearly pops out of his chest. So please fill me in about his life if you happen to know more. What would you do if you lived in a haunted house? YouTuber Charles Larita and The Mischief decided to film it. He posted this video in June of 2011, writing, My house is seriously haunted, and I'm still freaked out about this. In the video, he claims he always hears noises coming from his room, even when there's no one there. And while he's in his room, he feels a strange presence. After setting up a camera at night with the lights on, he discovered something strange around two hours into the footage. Here's what he found. The video shows a shot of the room, somewhat unfocused with a chest of drawers, a black guitar case leaning up against it, and a door. After a moment, the light on the chest of the drawers starts to shake back and forth slightly. Something falls off the top of the chest, and then the door to the left swings close with exactly no one in sight. Many in the comments are freaked out by this bizarre clip with BTS Nelly Thickums writing, Move out of that house. Others agree they would have hightailed it out of that place. What would you do if this was your home? Sometimes while ghost hunting, it's not the ghosts you have to worry about. Published by Proving Demons, this scary encounter with a live human occurred while investigating this abandoned home. Early on, they sent something inside of the house. After deciding there's no one there, they continue their investigation and end up recording this rather harsh whisper. Yeah. Place that harsh whisper mm. here. Someone doesn't want them there. And soon after blowing a special type of whistle, it's clear exactly who that is. The ghost hunters abandon everything inside and race off. Would you be able to get your stuff or write it off as a loss? The aggression with which some ghosts make their presence known can frighten even the bravest among us. Posted to the ghosts subreddit by Mr. Miracle BR, the redditor says this clip was tweeted by a police officer and reveals a strange, seemingly paranormal encounter during a police raid in Brazil. The footage shows what appears to be an abandoned building. The police approach to find a door banging repeatedly on its hinge. As they get closer, they see that it's doing so on its own. No trespassers are around. Nothing behind the door but an apparently angry plant. The man filming scans the door up and down, but nothing seems to explain the banging. The police hear something clatter to the ground somewhere far off and start running down the alley. Redditor Isselin draws attention to something else creepy in the clip writing. How come no one is pointing out the girl in the doorway at 38 seconds? Not sure if that's a girl. In fact, it's unclear what it is. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's very unnerving. 
Those who don't see it remain skeptical about the seeming paranormal activity. Redditor Ben Medi writes, Ghosts do this, but they don't do it constantly. Well, there you have it. ILMN Bono Paranormal goes exploring an abandoned factory that has become a haunted place full of many ghost sightings ever since an accident cost several workers their lives 60 years ago. Soon they discover firsthand exactly how paranormal this place truly is. <laughs> Twelve days later, he returns for more. The big hall is there, and no, no, no way. Some uh... <laughs> no. Wait. He says he's done, but he doesn't mean it. Everyone keeps begging for him to go back, and so six days later he returns for his final paranormal exploration at the haunted abandoned factory. You heard it. There is something. When you go back and look again, it does look like a shadow figure is caught on tape. Oh my god! Did you see that? Of course it's not here anymore. I don't know if you saw that, but it was standing right here. Standing just around the corner is a patch of darkness that is brighter than the rest. Was it a ghost sighting or somebody standing around the corner? Based on the other paranormal activity he's caught on camera, I think we all know the answer to this real ghost sighting. It's Orkun Is It Mac is a popular YouTuber from Turkey who goes exploring on all kinds of adventures. He's one of the few people willing to take a trip to the abandoned city of Chernobyl, a place where few dare to go after a nuclear power plant meltdown in the 80s, left the area covered in radiation. He brings with him a Geiger meter, used to measure levels of radiation, and a couple of scary moments are caught on camera. In this spot, the meter reaches about 50 units. That doesn't sound that bad, but then I realized an x-ray only takes seconds, whereas he's probably been standing here for hours. Big difference. And when he starts to go down here, the Geiger meter warns him not to. This tunnel is the heart of radiation, he says, and wisely turns around. The glare is covering the screen, so I don't know how many units the meter reached. But if it was in the hundreds, then permanent damage might have already been done in that instant. Later, as he's exploring a research facility lined with jars of old specimens, he finds a room with nothing but cribs, a room that no doubt has the scariest and most mysterious backstory of all. What was this facility working on, and why would they need to keep so many kids down here? Yasa is exploring not a tunnel, not a cave, but a haunted well, as in a dark hole straight down. He gets strapped into a pulley system and slowly lowered into the claustrophobic entrance. Right away, he finds a snake at the bottom along with some other scary things that are way more concerning. <laughs> A toy blocks a small passage that he can't fit through, but a child can. Perhaps this is where the child who haunts this well crawled to after falling in. As he contemplates this possibility, something comes at him from behind. <laughs> I think this is probably just part of the well, but it also kind of looks like the side profile of a boy's grinning face, rotten teeth and all. East Riddlesden Hall in West Yorkshire, England is considered one of Britain's most haunted houses.
table at the hall. YouTuber Roman Joe took a video of the old barn to send to her partner. When she watched it back, she noticed something strange. Let's take a look. Did you see it? Watch the window to the left of the carriage. Something seems to block the light for a moment. The YouTuber believes it's a spirit passing by the window. If it's true that no one was on site, to me the only thing that could explain this is if that window had a shutter that just so happened to move with the wind at the same moment that the camera pans past. Otherwise, this is for sure the Grey Lady, and I think they should get out of there immediately. Mangurdas Tremonis is exploring the bottom of a local lake when he spots a round object that doesn't match the rest of the scenery. After some resistance, he plucks free a crustacean-covered cranium that's clearly once belonged to a human. It must have been down there for quite a while, because now large aquatic life appears to be growing all over the surface and slowly breaking the organic matter down. Either this is the real thing, or else it's a very good-looking prop. Let me know which one you think it is. An extravagant wedding in Brazil has plans for the bride to arrive by helicopter. She and her brother are waiting to surprise the groom and everyone else who are patiently waiting not too far away. The skies are gray and there is no visibility. I'm guessing the pilot was probably navigating by special flight instruments when one of them falls as indicated by the buzzing noise that begins at 1 minute and 46 seconds and continues for 10 seconds all the way down. The camera is ejected from the helicopter and rolls into a field. The red scene on the grass is actually the flashing emergency lights of the helicopter. Truly a horrifying event. The historic Jefferson Hotel is a hotbed for paranormal activity, and this is one of the creepiest pieces of evidence yet. Published by the hotel in March of 2021, a security camera captured this incident in one of the hotel's hallways. In the clip, a guest of the hotel is seen looking for her husband. She asks a couple walking by if they've seen him. As they're talking, a deep guttural growl is heard. They all hear it and jump back. You can see their reaction here. Well, jumped back as if something was like yelling at them down the hall. You can see they were all scared. The couple walks away while the first guest is left alone with whatever made this noise. The hotel's caretaker says that the male guest seen in this video asked him where the speaker was. The man thought the hotel was in the business of ambiance, so had hidden speakers in the floor to add to the haunting atmosphere. The problem is that he was wrong. After being asked this, the caretaker, knowing there weren't any speakers, pulled up video from a second camera at the end of the hallway in the direction of the growl. This is what he found. So, did you hear that growl? The growl sounds very animalistic, almost demonic. Is this one of the many demons that haunt the halls of the Jefferson? Or is someone playing tricks? This footage was taken by an American tourist who was visiting Romania. He was just walking around a local zoo on his own, checking out the sights when he hears about a new attraction that is unlike any of the others. He is ushered into a dark farmhouse along with some other curious observers. Almost immediately, the tone of the video changes from skeptical to serious. It's hard to say exactly how, but something just feels wrong all of a sudden. You can hear the villagers talking among themselves, excitedly as they push past. Farm animals are making noises as the American makes his way deeper inside. This section is very dark now and even though the Romanians are speaking in a different language, you can tell that people are sounding worried and concerned as they come closer and closer to the main attraction. Finally, the American tourist sees it for himself. <laughs> Hey, 
Sitting across from them on a straw floor is what appears to be a white humanoid creature with black eyes and a wide gap for a mouth. It makes a series of tortured gurgling sounds and then charges towards its cage as the video quickly ends. It's hard to tell if this is a real creature or a man in a suit because the lighting is very dim. At the same time, Romania is a very rural country and anything could be lurking in the woods. Maybe someone really did capture this thing and drag it back to society to be gawked at by paying crowds. If this thing is real, then the poor humanoid sounds like it's been severely mistreated and probably needs help. I apologize for the poor quality of this video, but the backstory is too good to pass up. The Newcastle High School in Indiana received a notification from their security company that something weird was going on. So they looked at the CCTV videos to see exactly what the problem was. See here, the lights are off in the choir room. I'm actually freaking out right now. Thank you. The power goes out. Oh my gosh, okay. this is scaring me. So I'm thinking that the power going off is weird enough, but look what happens when it comes back on. Oh, I, the lights are on. <gasps> what the? Did you see that? What? The light came on. Shut I'm no electrician, but if the lights in the other room were off before the power outage, then they shouldn't come back on unless someone was in the room to mess with the switch. But as far as anyone knows, it was late at night and the school was empty, so I don't know how this could be. Filmed in Canada, this footage has some wondering if this is real. Posted by TikToker Flamecatcher2, in short, it is very real but super rare. Popular Mechanics explains that they are produced by heat plumes stretching miles into the atmosphere and colliding. Only a few anomalies have been recorded prior to this eerie clip. In fact, over the last several years, there have been a number of sightings both in 2018 and 2019. As they become more prominent, scholarly papers investigate how they are formed. This is but one case of it being caught on video, and as some TikTokers thinking this is the most terrifying thing ever, Master Sloth Gaming asks, has anyone tried turning the world off and back on again? Now that's a valid question. Is this the work of the legendary magician Hashina, published in September of 2021? This scary video is tantalizing. While I don't have the full context, the short clip shows some men sitting around a room. Some of the men are chanting. What are they trying to do? Exercise someone of a possession? I'm not sure. But as the group sits there, a creepy shadow figure emerges from behind a door's fogged glass window. It rises and there doesn't seem to be enough room behind the door for something to remain otherwise hidden. What's going on here? Is it some sort of ritual? Don't close your eyes, because when you wake up tonight, this thing will be waiting for you. Some videos on the internet can haunt you. February 20th, 2003, Station Nightclub, a great white concert. The headliner takes the stage seconds after they open with their billboard hit Desert Moon. Pyrotechnics are launched by the tour manager as part of the spectacle. Little does he know that the acoustic foam located in the ceilings and walls around the stage will soon go ablaze. Most initially believed it was part of the show, but soon the crowd began to understand that this was not a controlled incident. The band's lead vocalist, Jack Russell, said into the microphone, Wow, that's not good. Before some of the band and their entourage fled the stage via the west exit, a stampede towards the main exit resulted in a bottleneck and trampling. Cameraman Brian Butler for WPRI-TV of Providence was there that night filming for a piece on nightclub safety. Some of his footage was released to national news stations. If you're wondering if you can stomach the footage, take notes from Redditor Buffalo 87 who writes, the worst part is in the beginning there's so much screaming, then as people are running outside you realize it's actually pretty quiet, not because people calm down, but because you are actually listening to the people still inside. Ready for some peekaboo with a little more boo? Posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Leo Creations, this redditor's video was allegedly filmed at an abandoned house. 
The footage shows a man exiting his house at around 3 in the morning. According to a digital clock on the wall, dogs are barking outside. He zooms in on a row of houses on the opposite end of a gated area. For a moment, everything is quiet, ordinary, until it isn't. Entonces, a ver qué pasa. Se ve todo muy tranquilo, la verdad. No se ve nada anormal. Ah. Mija. A creepy, dark figure peeks out from around the corner of a white house. You can see its head vividly, peeking out before pulling back. He does this twice like he's playing an evil game of peekaboo. What is this creature? And do you want to play? YouTuber Seeker of Ghosts seeks ghosts in this paranormal forest, but what he finds is a goblin. He first spots it in the darkness through his camera lens. You can see its vague outline up close. Oh, Here it is again. After he flees from the goblin, he hears it again. He runs off a second time, hoping that the angry goblin doesn't follow. I don't blame him, though we didn't get a clear enough look to confirm that it was in fact a goblin. The mysterious creature sparks fear in me. I wouldn't stick around either. Do you think you could stick it out in an abandoned former asylum and what if you were being watched when you got there? Published to YouTube by This Is Dan Bell in September of 2015. This place of nightmares is a hauntingly beautiful house of horrors. The stone building is hidden in an overgrown woods and naturally Dan enters the basement first, wallpaper chipping from the wall. As he explores, Dan explains that he kept hearing noises throughout his exploration, which sounded like a person. He thinks a former patient returned to this building and was living there. Well, as a viewer, you're likely distracted by all the intricate details of this building, including its decorative tiles and molding, its stained glass sunroof and one stairwell, its fireplaces and chandeliers. You might miss this figure in the doorway. Dan himself only noticed when safely back home. Watching the video back, the point in question occurs at around 7 minutes 5 seconds when he's turning a corner around a stairwell. There's an open door in a hallway beyond with light shining against the door and a shadow is plainly visible. It moves as Dan turns to head up the stairs. Plenty of other strange things occurred during this visit, including Dan's battery popping and what looked like red stains found on the tile floor in an upstairs room. That's probably the point where you should get the heck out of an abandoned building. I'm just glad Dan and his team made it out. A YouTuber named Jmans Vlogs 356 was watching a movie. When he hears a noise coming from the basement, he notices that the door, which is normally locked, has somehow become unlocked in the past few minutes. Thinking fast, Jay grabs a large hammer and braces himself for the worst. Soon after, something stops him before he even gets a chance to go down the steps. He claims to have seen a face, and his camera does pick up what could be the head of a tall man staring back at him. According to the description for this video, the police were called and the man was arrested, though there is no proof to back up this story aside from this video evidence. When you think you're home alone, and then this happens, Posted to the Ghost subreddit by Esco Season 95 the Redditor writes, I was messing around with my dog, just us two were home, and my door did this. 
The video shows the Redditor playing with her dog's mouth, baring his teeth, when suddenly behind him, the door, which is opened into the bedroom, slowly swings closed before slamming shut. She specifies that her door never closes like this, and there were no doors or windows open to create a draft. While some think there are too many ways to fake videos with closing doors, others don't believe it's faked, but cite air pressure or other circumstances that might have caused this. Dark Lord of Pretzels writes, Whether or not it's paranormal doesn't matter, because if I was home alone and that exact scenario happened to me, I'd nope out of there so fast. I feel like most of us would agree with that statement. A group of friends are hanging out, basically making a random video to pass the time until their power comes back on. They nervously joke about a number of different scary things that could happen to them while huddled together in the dark when a creepy moment actually does occur. <laughs> <laughs> This is every time, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Oh. What? 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 I just saw something outside. We're not that stupid. No, seriously, guys, I saw something outside. No one believes him when he tries to explain that they were being watched in the window by something bizarre outside. But I certainly saw it, and if you didn't, trust me, soon you will. He's creeped out and zooms into the area where he last saw it run off to. That's when he catches a glimpse of the mysterious figure again. A strange humanoid creature is crawling on the wall on all floors. They lose sight of it, but that's because it's only seen when it wants to be seen. Soon, its frightening face fills the window, glowing white eyes and all. In an instant, it's gone again until they see movement in the bushes. What is that? What is that? When you look at it up close, you can tell it's definitely wearing clothes, maybe a collared shirt underneath a hoodie. So this is probably a skit in just one of their friends. Still, the glowing eyes and lack of a face are freaky. I hope they are special effects and not a humanoid on the prowl. All of them rush outside for a confrontation. One of them brings their arm down while holding something heavy, and with a sickening crunch, it's all over. You get the flashlight! Could there be spirits all around us, just out of sight? Posted to the r slash paranormal encounter subreddit, one blueberry336 asks, is this an orb? In the video, her puppy is sitting in his cage on high alert. He starts whining and lays down. Then he starts howling. Mid howl, a light orb flies by, somehow seeming to alert the dog to its presence. The dog stops his howl and looks right at it. Some in the comments think the pup really does seem to be startled by the orb and think it could possibly be paranormal, but others think it's a puppy and a flying bug. What do you think it is? Remember, animals have a better sense of the paranormal than humans. So there's this really weird video of some strange lights in the sky that needs a closer analysis. How many were there? 30? 30. And then they just disappear. Look, here comes more. Basically, this guy has caught mysterious things on camera, floating over where he lives, in Metairie, Louisiana. His confused reaction soon spreads to other houses as more people react to the unusual lights above. There's like 30 of them. They keep coming out of nowhere. Yeah, this is the real deal. So let's get this straight. He sees almost 30 odd lights and another neighbor verifies that they've seen them for days on end, seemingly from nowhere. What they've caught on camera cannot be explained by them, so they turn to the YouTube community for help. I think I can help solve the mystery on this one. Those aren't, those aren't Japanese lanterns, are they? Are they? No, because they're all going the same. It's like a little paper balloon, and you put the uh, wick in it, and it lifts it up, and then 
Maybe it is. He means a Chinese lantern. I looked it up and the lantern festival is celebrated on the same day this video was made. So hopefully this settles other videos of mysterious lights in the sky caught on this specific day once and for all. A photographer pulls his car over just outside of the Dara War Fort in the Pakistani desert. He keeps his dash cam running as he adjusts his camera equipment to get a better shot. While he is busy snapping pictures, a mysterious shadowy figure hurries down the road. No other cars or people are around for miles. and There's no reason for someone to be walking this great distance by themselves. They get towards the end of the road and quietly disappear, which leaves only two possible explanations. Either this was a real highway ghost encounter or just video editing. The Redditor who posted this video to the Chills Narrator subreddit wonders what this mysterious creature might be. Originally posted by John O'Donnell underscore 22 on TikTok, the creature in question races upright on two spindly legs, being chased by what looks to be a coyote. The creature has a long snout and appears to be shaven. As it runs down a residential street, it makes a high-pitched noise to avoid the predator on his tail. The creature jumps in or onto a nearby garbage can, and after the oblivious coyote continues on, the creature flips in a somersault off of the garbage, making yet another strange noise as it does. What is this thing? Let's see what Reddit has to say about it. Some suggest it's a golem, others a cat, and at least one a sphinx cat. Redditor all caps all dust says, it's called the gully Beast. It takes from those who are believed to be inept at distinguishing what's real and what's not. If that's correct, talk about mind blown. When all is said and done, it's either a real mystery creature or just plain CGI. But whatever it is, you have to admit, it's freaky. Don't you hate it when you're alone in your haunted house and the ghost girl comes out to play? Published in March of 2018, YouTuber Gencore shares this video of what he claims is the Ortega ghost girl. The man taking the video greets viewers, showing them around his living room. He then gives us a tour of his home. At one point, a stand-up fan in one of the rooms falls over, apparently of its own accord. You'll find out later that this is the haunted room. He leaves, lights an incense stick, and after a while returns to the scene of the incident. A toy moves out from under the bed as the man speaks to the spirit, saying they told him she wanted to talk to him and that he's going to close the door. You hear a sing-song voice, that of a little girl. Dios Santo. Dios. Dijo hola. When he shuts the door again, a loud banging is repeatedly heard. He opens it to find a basket in front of the door, not where it was last seen. Needless to say, he hightails it out of there. If you have no idea what's going on here, Aries Bautista has you covered in the comments. She writes, The girl played three times hard. He should not have opened. It is assumed that by touching three times, he opened a portal that the demons used to enter. Well then I guess he should have kept that portal closed. As these dudes were wandering in the darkness, they encountered something they never expected. Okay. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. We gotta go! Climbing on the gate, it looks like a tiny extraterrestrial humanoid, and apparently it gives chase. Dude, he's booking it! Go! Come on, go! Dude, go! go! Oh my gosh! Dude! He's right there! Dude, get your flush My light's not working. The humanoid creature is catching up to them. Dude. Stupid. Why would you stupid? We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta go. go. What is that? I'm not entirely sure. But let's hope it didn't get them. According to YouTuber Gankwapi, this abandoned house has a horrific history.
It's near the end of their investigation that they encounter this spirit. If you look a little closer, you can see a figure lurking in the darkness. Look to the right. Is that the old man spirit, stranded to haunt this evil house for eternity? I suspect it just might be, although I could also see it being the life taker's demon, jailed forever in this purgatory on earth. What is the number one destination to dispose of an object that's ended a life? In a river, of course. Posted to TikTok by Julian Stevens. This scary video leaves us wondering if that's exactly what happened here. The TikToker spotted a blade at the bottom of the waterway. Zooming in, you can see it's clearly a large kitchen blade. Zooming out again, you can see it's clearly in the middle of a creepy wooded area. Many in the comments suggest calling the cops. That seems like a fair assessment to me. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, this scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <coughs> The man is captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exercise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. <laughs> Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jinn. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case, though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. This video was taken from a waiting station at the Islamabad International Airport in Pakistan. Any strings attached to this chair would be easy to see on the bread and reflective cement floor, but I don't see any. And the chair slides across the room without anyone in sight. It looks like it might be getting pulled by someone off camera camera here at the 33 second mark, but then it does a 360 all of its own somehow. So that theory is pretty much debunked. There's also no way for magnets to work from beneath a solid concrete floor, so I have no idea how this was done. Is someone watching you while you sleep? Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. Security camera footage captured this paranormal event on camera. Watch for the standing fan. But more terrifying is the sleeping woman's reaction. Fans can be automated and set to start at a certain time. So, to me, this is not necessarily a paranormal event. But then again, her response makes me second guess myself. <laughs> I track this video down to the TikTok account at Jezebel TikTok, but I'm not sure if this is the original source. Judging by this woman's level of fear, I can't help but think that she saw or felt something else in the room, aside from a light breeze. What do you think is going on here? This entry involves a series of videos revealing a web of industrial-looking tunnels that weave beneath the campus of Northern Arizona University. 
The uploader states that in October of 2018, he only reached the bottom of the stairs but recently decided to venture further. In close granddad writes, NAU was almost established as an insane asylum back in the mid-1890s, and rumor has it that these tunnels would have been part of that. He shares a link, which notes that the building was first built as a reform school for Arizona's so-called vicious youth. It's unclear why it remained empty for years upon completion. That's when, as Grandad mentioned, an insane asylum was proposed by the territorial legislature. For some reason, that wasn't followed through either. What isn't made clear is this short historical literature is when the tunnels were built and for what purpose. The recorder guides us through the dark tunnels, writing, I came across pathways that I could have potentially crawled, shimmied through, but chose not to because, one, they seemed a bit dangerously cramped at points, and two, I didn't want to spend too much time down there. I don't know how much farther these tunnels go until we find out what those tunnels were used for. The mystery may just be enough to haunt you. Remember that footage of the raging Eagle Creek forest fire? Just imagine being in the middle of it, driving right through the very center. While driving, I can only imagine they're wondering whether or not they'll live through this horror, or maybe they've already gone to the other side. In the video, you can barely see the road as smoke rises all over and hellish fire springs up along the roadside. Sparks of embers fly across the windshield, making the viewer feel like they're in the center of a fire pit. You can also see specks of black ash flick across the window. Finally, they make it onto the main road and make a break for it. Although it's still very smoky, slowly but surely the smoke vanishes as they escape the fire zone. That was one scary and wild ride. Mysterious things have been happening for years at the haunted Brookside Theatre in Romford, UK. Management has long reported sightings of ghost orbs and furniture moving by itself across the floor with no one in the room. Footage of one such strange and unexplained event was captured on a quiet Sunday morning in 2014. Management came in to find the chairs were no longer in the same place as they had been the night before. They checked CCTV tapes already knowing the answer, but for some reason, even after all these years, there's no getting used to paranormal activity and so they check every time. A paranormal presence is shown on camera moving the chair and then the table. Half the table is off the camera, so that would be easy to move by yourself and say it was a ghost, but a chair moving by itself would be harder to fake, though it could be a string. I'll keep digging for more paranormal videos from the Brookside Theatre so we can help solve the mystery and figure out if the building is really haunted. In the meantime, let me know what you think of these creepy moments caught on camera. This slow motion video captures a man peeling around a corner as fast as he can, and soon you see exactly what has him moving so fast. A gigantic cheetah literally bounces off the wall in pursuit. The video ends before we exactly get to see what happens next. Maybe this cheetah really did come in straight from the jungle, or maybe it was kept as a household pet until one day it simply snapped. Whatever the case may be, I doubt it ended well for the person running away. Then again, I have no idea why he would just happen to have a camera set up to catch this event perfectly, so maybe it was scripted after all. Let me know what you think is going on here, and also tell me if you have any more background information that can help us put this video in better context. Have you ever seen something that actually wasn't there? What if you found out later that what you were seeing was real? Published by Wawa in January of 2022, she says she got home, had partaken in some herbs, and later that night took these videos. This is what she captured. In one video, a shadow peers out from behind a door in the hallway. It looks like a face peeking around from the upper corner. She writes that she was snapping videos to her friends and eventually looked up and caught this head from behind a door in her closet. Thinking she was just tripping, she filmed two more videos. 
When she watched the videos back in the morning, sober, she was even more disturbed by what she captured. The clearer video truly does look like a head peeking out from the doorway, but several photos show there's nothing there or behind the door that would cast that shadow or poke out in any way. Obviously, this was not a hallucination, but what could it be? YouTubers Gankwa P are playing the Ouija board in a different form, using a glass in place of a planchette. The glass starts moving on its own, then something screeches overhead. They think it's an owl. Shortly after, one of the group feels something behind him. Hey. 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 And as they all start to feel that the spirit was angry, this happens. I don't think that this can be fabricated. I think this video is real. And it is terrible. Some creepy videos posted by YouTuber Leonardo Martinez in January of 2016. The video is entitled, El Pombero and El Dorado, Missone's Real. What is El Pombero? According to Latin American legend, the mythological gnome-like figure is rife in the Paraguayan forest, but can be found across southern Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Pombero is mainly seen at night in rural areas and forests. Holding up in sheds and abandoned structures, he likes to mimic bird sounds, and the inexplicable chirping of birds is said to indicate that Pombero is near. If anyone so much as speaks Pombero's name out loud, he will harass them. Now that you know the myth, let's take a look at this video, which claims to have caught live action footage of the creature. Filmed in the forest, a group of folks are wandering through the trees when, off to the side, something that looks like a short stump starts to move. The figure hobbles in an uncanny way, leaning on a crutch. Needless to say, the people rush off in fear. It certainly looks jarring and uncannily real. If you live in Paraguay, I guess it's time to hide. You don't want to cross pass with this mischief maker. What are these strange so-called light balls that keep setting this redditor's cameras off? Redditor Spambone is wondering if the reddit community has any theories. Well, let's see what we can come up with as well. Let's take a look. This goes on for two minutes. Sometimes two light balls appear simultaneously. Some say it's obviously a bug. Others think it's a web of some kind. Still, others say it's a laser pointer or a reflection of some other light source. Practically, no one thinks this is an orb or paranormal in any way. And neither do I. I'm firmly in the spider or cobweb camp. What do you think it is? Redditor Twisted Desire doesn't know what to think after seeing this in her backyard. Upon receiving an alert that there was movement at her back door, this is what the notification pulled up. To me, it almost looks like the darkness is breathing. The Redditor says there were no outside lights on. Some think it's just fog. Others see a demonic face appearing there. Do you see it? I honestly see it too, but I think that may just be pareidolia. However, I do think there's an energy in the darkness making itself known. Is it good or bad? Only time will tell. That thing you see out of the corner of your eye shouldn't be trusted. Posted by Finger Long Jumping 804 to the Ghosts subreddit. This looks more like a gremlin than a spirit. 
The video shows a man just trying to go about his day, taking out the trash, but as he opens the door, this strange small shadow leaps into view and quickly disappears out of the frame. The guy doesn't appear to see the figure in reality as he opens the door. Redditor Joey Josie suggests that someone just threw a piece of clothing across the room. Others think it's a gremlin. Some who've slowed the clip down note that the figure appears transparent, but perhaps the best theory comes from Pantless Weekends who writes, Trash bag was taken out, but its soul remained in the house. Better kick that to the curb too, before it stays for good. CCTV footage often captures the unexplainable. Posted to YouTube by UFO Mania in May of 2018, and originally from FUMON, a ring security camera caught a strange flying entity on camera. The unknown entity shoots onto the screen, sparking in the air before settling in a glowing fuzz at the bottom of the frame. It hovers there, floating, before jolting upwards and out of sight. YouTuber Trish Robinson writes, One world has many creations in it. We simply don't understand them. Most will never be known by the masses. Is this just one of those many creations we don't understand? Nevertheless, this footage raises multiple questions I wish we had additional evidence to answer. Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses to come out. Her friend almost has it by the tail, but then at the last second it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly puts it back in its container. The rat looks used to being handled, and this is probably the only thing that kept it from trying to bite and scratch its way out. Paranormal explorers Mackie and Amanda are investigating two haunted South California estates in this scary video, The Kellogg House and The Mag House. Published in March of 2022, they are in the Kellogg House when something touches Amanda's arm. Oh, something just touched my arm. What? Something just touched my arm. Really? Super lightly, but... A moment later, she says it feels like the whole house is shaking. Later, they're sitting in one of the rooms. When they hear someone knocking, Mackie also mentions that she heard someone's voice earlier. While in the dining room, they hear a beeping noise. It is not coming from one of their paranormal devices. Not long after, they hear footsteps, and then those footsteps sound like they're running right at them. Anyone's up? No, really, what is that? Is someone upstairs? Later, they're in a child's bedroom when one of their paranormal devices picks up an EVP and then a second one. They speak to the spirits using a spirit box who tell them that they're present. So? Yes. Yes. What? Here. Mm -hmm. What room are you in? Here. Then, when they leave the room, the music box is triggered again. Is something following them around these haunted estates? What does it want from them? This is the master bedroom right here. This is where they wanted us to come, so... It's still going off. Something's following <gasps> us in here. Oh, you're right! Something just, it, was, it was you, it went off, and then it was me, it went off, and then there was... In Mexico, a security guard was making his rounds at a store when he captured these paranormal manifestations on camera. First, he sees this spooky cart playing mind games. <laughs> He later enters what appears to be a storage room, and the mannequins attack. <laughs> no 
He continues his tour when a scary Santa starts to dance. <laughs> Hola amigo, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? No vengo a molestarte. A ver, vamos a acercarnos poquito. No, si me da quiz quiz. Well, this one is clearly automated. What triggered it? The guard leaves the room and returns. And again, Santa comes to life and then jumps ship. ¿Qué feo? No manches. What do you make of this creepy series of events? In my opinion, while the automated Santa may have just been malfunctioning, the shopping cart and mannequin are harder to dismiss. A YouTuber named The Maniac sets out with his cousin to explore the back roads of Maine. Within five minutes, a vehicle pulls up and somebody gets out while pointing at the grounds. doesn't identify himself and he certainly isn't a police officer, so I think the maniac was in the right to try and get away. I will admit that they were going pretty fast earlier, so maybe that's why this person was so upset. Anyway, approximately two minutes later, they see him again but he is already turning with a car behind him and unable to swing back around. This time, the maniac speeds by him for a final look and sure enough, the man is wearing the same grey shirt and watch as before. The maniac speeds off again before the man has a chance to get out of his car and try and make another attempt to stop him. A YouTuber named Batchain Puller says they were watching Game of Thrones when they noticed this little girl staring into their home with a blank expression. She does not seem to be trying to get anyone's attention and seems perfectly content with staring straight ahead into a stranger's home on Christmas, judging by the decorated tree. The YouTuber says that there is an explanation for this video, but doesn't go into any more detail. Maybe they will still remember what happened all these years later. If you've ever been in a school at night, you know how creepy the dark, empty halls can be. Well, this school takes the hair standing on end to another level. Published to YouTube by Tubba Rubba in January of 2016, this scary video shows security footage via a video monitor which was captured at the apparently haunted Folk High School in Arkansas. A janitor's cart sits in the entrance of a bathroom. A moment later, it starts to move slowly forward. It pauses for a minute and then rolls further, wheeling around the corner before launching fast across the hallway and then turning sharply to enter another room. According to Tubba Rubba, the janitor of the school weighed in on this haunted ordeal. He said that his cart is too heavy to have been pulled by a string. Moreover, no one was caught on camera entering or leaving the bathroom before or after the creepy incident. So I guess we can assume the school bathroom is haunted by folks' version of Moaning Myrtle. Better steer clear before she drowns you in her tears. A TikToker named Melody Zaragoza1121 has an experience she will never forget on a flight as she later describes simply as being not fun. All of the monitors go haywire and flash on and off in strange patterns, bathing the cabin in a green alien-like glow. At one point, they all turn on at once, almost as if there is some sort of deeper communication efforts at play. But without any further evidence, I would just as soon attribute this experience to faulty wiring, which, now that I think about it, is probably one of the few instances where a ghost could be arguably preferable. Ohm Vlogs has set up a camera at this junction in the middle of the night. What he sees there calls up plenty of questions, and they're without answers. First, he sees this figure walking across the grounds. <sighs> ये पेड़ के पास ये देखो ये कोई लगा मुझे पता नहीं उस पेड़ के पास करके एंड He then sees this figure in red. It's not clear if it's the same person in the security footage. It looks like he lights a candle, maybe for prayer or some other ritual.
but it's when this next figure enters the picture that things get really creepy. After a while, she sits on the ground with her flame. When the witch leaves, he heads over to check out what she was burning, and then he finds her. Later, the camera captures her again, crossing the same junction. And he finds this burning. The vlogger thinks this is a witch, performing some type of ritual. I agree that he's probably right. I can't find any other explanation for her movements at night. I'm not sure what she's doing exactly, whether it's good or evil, but I do find it fascinating. Are you working shoulder to shoulder with ghosts? YouTuber Graham Lee is, and this time they caught the spirit in the act. Watch the left hand corner of the screen. The box is sitting flat on the shelf before it slides forward and then leaps to the ground. You see that there? The uploader writes that there was no way anything could have pushed it off. To be honest, it's hard to tell from this angle if that's the case. Ooh. You see that there? That's Something may have fallen behind it, propelling it forward, or perhaps it was somehow unstable on the shelf to begin with. So before I conclude, this was the act of a phantom co-worker. I'm going to need to see more footage. Emma is too afraid to come into her parents' room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them. When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything, but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. What, baby? What, daddy? Yeah. Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. Police arrive to find a mother of two is seeing things on the roof while holding her two children. She doesn't believe a word anyone has to say and thinks everyone is out to get her. Now it's up to them to bring everybody down safely. They climb onto the narrow ledge, and there is barely enough room for a grown man to stand. She is in such an anxious, delusional state that not even a legitimate badge and uniform are enough to convince her. My analysis of this part is that she thinks that he is putting away his badge too quickly, which in her mind means it must be fake. Eventually, she thinks he is real, but then she thinks his partner is an imposter. She reads his name tag out loud and freaks out. No, no, yeah. who are you? Point blank? Point blank's body adventure? No, point blank! 
I think his name is Blaine Points or something like that, but I can't figure out what the significance is to her. Also, it sounds like she calls him a body avenger, whatever that means. At this point, she is so frantic that she might lose her balance. So the cops have to grab the kids by the arm and get into a terrifying tug of war. The poor kid has an adult pulling on each arm. The situation is probably horrifying for them. Eventually, the police win and round the children up, who sadly probably won't be seeing their mother again until well into their teenage years, if ever. A user named Josiah Worley has some of the best paranormal evidence on TikTok of a ghost haunting his room on the attic floor. He's recording his game table after a card leaped off the deck, and soon a cup is moving by itself. Or more accurately, a ghost is moving the cup if you ask Josiah. He handles the cup immediately after and you can see there is no string. On another night with one hand on the camera and the other hand on the mattress, Josiah watches an object move by itself. Mom? And later it crawls across the floor. Bro. Are you good, bro? Are you good, bro? Do you see any f strings? Did you guys see it move? There are no editing cuts when he walks up to the medicine bottle. This object moved on its own. This happens night after night until finally he tries to communicate with the ghost. He makes the mistake of acting annoyed, which I think ramps things up considerably. What's good? You're kind of making noises. You're kind of being really loud. It's really irritating. Okay. In my opinion, the ghost wants nothing more than to be acknowledged, but Josiah wants nothing more than to be left alone. It's a conflict that's bound to create paranormal tension in the long run. The paranormal activity doesn't stop and so he gets in the habit of recording his room all of the time. It's almost sunrise. Almost sunrise. What was that? Where did that go? This ghost orb in particular curves around and appears in front of him when he wants to know what it is. The caption says maybe I should ignore it, but in my opinion that will only make things even more unpleasant for him in the long run. I think the ghost hates being ignored and is moving objects because it refuses to go unheard. I don't think it wants Josiah out of the apartment. When he says he's going to move out is when it becomes absolutely enraged. I'm gonna f end up leaving. If anything, it wants him to keep it company forever. Josiah decides to use a ghost hunting TikTok filter called the Reality Ripple to finally catch a ghost sighting on his phone camera. It isn't long before objects are moving on their own again, and the colors on his screen change to indicate a ghost is near. Do you guys hear that? No, 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 that, no, no, that doesn't make sense. No, stop. While looking at this still frame, gaze into the paranormal energy, you can see a yellow phantom figure reaching out. I've circled its head with long hair and pointed at its arm to help you better see it. The figure seems to be grabbing at the area where the object fell over. All of this creeps Josiah out badly enough to ask the ghost, point blank, to do something specific if he's safe. I got one question for you. Am I safe? If I am, then please knock over the cups. Oh, you, you saw that. A cup does not move by itself, but the ghost does push a bag off the table. This is definitely a reply, and I guess it means that he's not safe because it moves a different object than the one he asked it to. Ever since then, things have quieted down, so maybe Josiah just needed to ask for permission to live here, or maybe this strange and cryptic poltergeist is biding its time, letting him lower his guard before moving on to the next phase of his horrible haunting. Dr. Lost Syndrome published this video in May of 2014 writing, a little short video where Maskey gets some payback for the taggers ruining his hideout. The video follows a pair of teenagers in what looks to be an abandoned building in the wilderness. 
The building is full of graffiti, and one of the lads starts spraying some more over top of it. That's when they hear this strange noise. The first time they hear it, they brush it off. The second time, they start to wonder what's up. The camera is passed off to the dude while the girl continues spraying in the room. The man heads outside looking around the area and shouting hello. Hello? When there's no response, the two pass off the camera again and then again as the girl goes to check if there's anyone out there while the man continues spray painting. After painting a bit, the man scans the graffiti in the room. That's when he arrives at the door to find Maskey outlined in the doorway. The masked man charges him and knocks him to the ground. It appears the man is knocked out cold. What is unclear is what Maskey did with his body. Maskey's revenge is certainly not something you would want to think about as you fall asleep at night. And trust me on that one. When demons get aggressive, then it's time to be really afraid. Published by Real Adad Alterna in November of 2021, this scary video shows a terrifying, malignant incident caught on camera. Captured in a scary haunted house, Tim sets up his camera and immediately hears a strange noise behind behind him. As he's reading something out loud, a window pane starts opening and shutting like mad. Unload. The lights start flashing in both rooms and later, with the night vision on, a chair comes flying out of another room. It doesn't look like it's thrown, rather like it rises. But the scariest part is yet to come. As Tim reads a ritual out loud, a chair comes flying behind him, knocking him over and seated into the chair. Later, he hears strange knocking from the basement. And when he goes to investigate, creepy groans sound distantly, but they seem like they're all around him. There is something truly to fear in this demon house. Are you ready to face it? Ventures of Hamad Salhai has the keys to an apartment that is slowly being taken over by a powerful jinn. Once inside, he begins a ceremony with candles. I don't know if this is a summoning or a cleansing ritual, but I do know that what happens as a result is beyond creepy. First of all, the flame from the candle remains completely horizontal and still. <laughs> then his flashlight flickers with paranormal energy and the ceremony kicks into full swing. Huh? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء a door closes by itself and when he opens the door back up the ghost avoids a confrontation again بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله he relights the candle and goes inside the room to see what the ghost is trying to hide these pictures adorn the walls, perhaps victims of the person whose ghost now haunts this apartment building. Or maybe just family members. He is pondering something out loud that I bet would give us more information about this room, so please translate if you can. A shadow figure in the corner makes him drop his only source of light, and now he is left in the darkness in the same room as the terrifying phantom figure. He runs out of the room fast and grabs a flashlight, no longer worried about using the ceremonial candles at the moment, but it won't let him leave so he picks up the candles once more. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
This is what finally freaks him out. I think a ghost touches his shoulder, but help me translate to better understand. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.